Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be finding the value of x from this nice radical equation. We have fourth root of 2x is equal to cube root of x. But before we begin, you know the deal already, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. First, I'm going to raise each side of this equation to the fourth power. Okay, so that this 4 will cancel this fourth root. Now we have 2x over here and this is equal to cube root of x or to the power 4. So I'll copy this down. We have 2x is equal to, now let's go ahead and then focus on this. If I have c root of a or to the power b, this could be written as c root of a to the power b. Okay. So this implies that I can write this whole thing as cube root of x to the fourth power. Okay, now we have 2x is equal to cube root of, now x to the fourth power could be written as x to the third power times x. Right, I will still keep the left hand side. So we have 2x is equal to, this whole thing could be written as the cube root of x to the third power times cube root of x and straight away you can see that this cube will cancel this cube root now we are left with x times cube root of x and this is equal to 2x now please from here don't divide each side by x because as soon as you do that you are going to get only one solution okay so what i will be doing from here is i'm gonna raise each side of this equation to the third power okay now simplifying this we have 2 to the third power times x to the third power and this is equal to x to the third power times x right 2 to the third power is nothing but 8 then we have x to the third power and this is equal to x to the fourth power now let's go ahead and then move the whole of this to the right hand side okay so we have x to the fourth power minus 8x to the third power is equal to 0. And now you can see we can factor x to the third power out, okay? So we have x to the third power into x minus 8. And this is equal to 0. So from here, x to the third power is equal to 0 or x minus 8 is equal to 0. Now if I raise each side of this equation to the power 1 over 3, this 3 will cancel this. Now we have x is equal to 0, right? Or from here, making x the subject, we have x is equal to 8. So the final answer turns out to be x is equal to 0 or 8. Okay? I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video.